up, what up, Mattlebees? It's another beautiful day in San Antonio, Texas, but I had no idea what to wear. It's supposed to be a high of 75 and a low of like 54 today. So I got a combination of earmuffs, a long sleeve shirt, sh and shorts on. I mean, I just, you just never know. You gotta be prepared for everything. Today we're actually gonna head out to, uh, it's a place called Spare Parts, and it's basically like a reusable, recycled craft store. Like they don't have new <laughs> stuff, they got like, store. There's the peanut gallery. It is a secondhand craft store. That's the best, easiest way to say it. And we're gonna see what they got going on over there because they're actually running a 50% off sale today that Shelby is super excited about. I'm typically not the one who's much for crafts, but we'll go down there, see what we can check out. And then we're gonna try this new, uh, not new, it's new to us because we've never been before, but it's a vegan restaurant and it's actually called Plantology. So if you all have been on this channel for a while, you know that we love Vegan Avenue. And I think, don't quote me on this, Vegan Avenue, the people that own it, they also own Plantology. So I have a feeling it's already gonna be fantastic. Do you have anything to contribute to the vlog today? I do. First of all, does this hat make me look like a pilgrim or like a Christian girl autumn vibes? Let me know. And second of all, Madison says she's not one for crafts, but specifically, I'm really excited about this because we're getting prepped for Vlogmas and there will be crafts in Vlogmas, of course. So we're going there to look for some stuff like that. Shelby is definitely the leader when it comes to crafts. I'm telling you, whenever we go to any kind of craft store, I just kind of walk around twiddling my thumbs. We'll see how that ends up going, but we're gonna head out now. Because when I went to college, I started watching your videos. Yeah. And like all my friends would make fun of me because I brought my own utensils. Oh, and like my own to go container. Yeah. And I'm like, Shelby told me, yeah. Oh, you were doing that. Yeah. yeah. So, so I was like, I'm like, like I gotta bring my own to go to container. But I was like the only person that did it. So they're like, why do you have your own fork with you? Like, like, why do you have to go up like, Shelby had a fork. I love that. Can I take a photo with both of y'all? Yeah. Well, hey, you're gonna be on the vlog. We'll give you a shout out. Oh my Y'all are incredible. Yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> content. They're amazing people. Amazing. I don't know what to say. Loving I'm just people. shaking. Oh, you guys are so sweet. No, y'all, like, y'all yeah. are so sweet. I love y'all's yeah. content. Like, thank you for doing what y'all do. Cause, yeah. like, thank you for being so transparent with your lives and everything. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right, let's get some pictures in. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Getting a muscle shirt too. Mary buys them from the thrift store and a board member uh, screen prints them for free. And the design was made by a local female tattoo artist. Nice. That's awesome. I love it. It's just everybody's like supporting <laughs> each other and you know, trying to be sustainable at the same time. For sure. This is perfect for Madison. Oh, thanks for <laughs> yes. it. Yes. definitely wear this a lot. I totally will. Oh man. What a magical morning experience. Not only is spare parts amazing, like as what they're doing, like a secondhand craft store, because you, I feel like everyone has made something before and had like that leftover ribbon or the leftover paint that like you're never gonna use. So what they do is an amazing like setup in general anyway. And then the people who run it, Mary, is she's great. And I think the other person who works there's name is Maggie. She's also super sweet. And then we ran into some people who watch our channel, which was, crazy because we don't meet people in person very often probably because we don't go outside very often it's always nice to meet people in person and hear like how they feel about your videos because you don't you don't get that very often and it's just really cool and also they were just like really excited which makes me feel like a feeling that you don't get very often when people like validate that the work you do is important and impactful i don't know it's just a really good feeling so 
Shout out to them. That was a super great way to start our day. And now we are headed to go eat. Madison also wants to show you the shirt that they gave her because yeah, it's actually buddy. so perfect. I don't even know how they found something so perfect. It is pretty perfect. But we were literally walking out the door and they were sweet enough to be like, do you all want a shirt? And I looked at the shirt and I just, it was incredible. I was like, it's sleeveless and it's got some different colors going on. It's super cute. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be rocking this when I'm around the house, going on runs. I am super excited that I have some spare parts merch. <laughs> this is so cute, no? Look! And the ceiling? Plantology was absolutely incredible. It's very similar to Vegan Avenue, like as far as the menu items, but they did have some stuff that wasn't at Vegan Avenue as well. I got a lobster roll and it was pretty good. It was basically like a little lobster roll like salad on a nicely toasted bun with some fries. And then Shelby got some buffalo cauliflower wings, which she very much enjoyed as well. Now we're about to head to a hardware store because we need to get some paint as part of our uh, Vlogmas stuff that we're running around collecting. Getting prepared. It's so exciting. Is that it? I don't know. What sure. Jerk. That's what it looks like in San Antonio. You ain't got a water softener. <laughs> uh -uh. Can't be doing that. And look at all the different knobs. You ain't got no key. Why can't open it? <laughs> These chairs are also interesting. Someone donated a bunch of them and they're like, they're really big. Sit in one so you, they can see the size comparison. Yeah. I only see chairs like this at the doctor. Yeah, they might have like someone closed their office or something. Mm hmm. <laughs> And there's these ones over here. These are kind of cute. They look nice. They look actually like brand new. They better be. They're fifteen dollars each. Oh, that could be good. We decided we didn't want a table though a long time ago, but these would fit the vibe, right? Uh, kinda. I don't love this here. This is nice. I've wanted one of these for a while. The slides that go under the cabinets. I remember those. Well, I our cab. Those. Because our cabinets have that shelf and you can't remove it. Oh. Or like you can, but it's it's hard. Oh, look at those lights back there. That's so cool. No, no oh my God, they're so pretty. Cute. Oh yeah, see? You flip it. So freaking pretty. Yeah, like that's how they go. just got done cooking myself a little breakfast on the weekends I like to spice it up and do something a little fancy sometimes and I'm also out of apples and bananas so oats just wouldn't have been the same this morning today is actually the Sunday before Thanksgiving or whatever so we're going to a Friendsgiving that our friend Bailey invited us to and it's actually gonna be like a vegan potluck so we're gonna try and make some mashed potatoes. We got a big old bag of mashed potatoes and- uh, We have gonna... a big old bag of mashed potatoes? Oh my gosh, we have a big old bag of potatoes that need to be mashed. What happened was we tried to order fingerling potatoes from the grocery store the other day and they sent us these other potatoes that are not that. So then we we're like, well, we have to use these up. Yes, these potatoes we have are massive. I thought I was getting something like this and then they're like that. So we're like, let's make potatoes for the potluck. So that's what we're doing now.
have the potatoes in the pot, so now we're just gonna let those roll and cook until they're nice and soft. Oh, we could poke them with a fork. We're gonna start getting ready now. Shelby has already taken a jump start and is currently in here curling her hair. Look at that, looking good. Look at that. I used to not ever have like a getting ready routine. Like I didn't do anything to myself, I would just get going. I feel a lot better at like taking 10 minutes to like make my hair look cute. Me I'm just gonna go upstairs and throw some clothes on that are slightly different from what I have on currently. I mean, <laughs> not working with a, a whole lot here. So we'll catch up with you soon. Can you overboil potatoes? Yes. Are they already soft? Yes. Oh, take them out of there. Drain the water off and put them in the other bowl. Okay. I'm gonna have to finish my makeup in the car, uh, but the way that we make, or I guess, do you, do you call these our mashed potatoes or my mashed potatoes? Shelby's mashed potatoes. Okay, so we usually peel, well actually we usually don't peel the potatoes, but Madison wanted to peel some, so we peeled about half of them, and then I only add like salt, pepper. I try not to add a lot of salt because I add Tony C's, which has a lot of salt in it, uh, nutritional yeast, and then also Miyoko's butter. And that's kinda it, but they come out pretty good, right? I think so. I really okay. like how they come out. And and I don't have exact measurements either. We just keep adding until they taste right. So. While Madison finishes up uh, mashing that stuff, we need to make sure we bring things for the potluck like plates and uh, like silverware and stuff because you know most potlucks they'll use disposables like i can't imagine this is going to be a potluck with a bunch of people and they're going to use reusables i mean it could be wrong but we always want to be safe than sorry right i'm trying to find my backpack so that we can put the stuff in there but i don't know where it is all of our plates are ceramic but my sister has plates that are plastic which are not even microwave safe it's very strange that she has these honestly but for the sake of taking them <laughs> to a potluck will make sense. And you may also know that I keep utensils in my backpack at all times, but I have a second set of these that I got for Madison. She just never carries them for herself and they stay in the key bowl. So I'll just bring these as well. And last but not least, in case there are available, amazing, awesome leftovers. Tiffin, you like my Tiffin stash? <laughs> Okay, maybe one more thing, maybe cups. Luckily, I do have a couple. Oh, I'm gonna use them for her friends last night, but they should be clean enough. They're in the dishwasher. I bought these for when Madison's nephews come over so that they don't break all the other cups we have because they're glass. These would be good for a potluck though. All right, now that I've got all those prepared, are the potatoes done? How are they looking? Looking pretty good, hopefully. Can you do a taste test for us? I think they're pretty good. Good job, chef. And also to avoid any plastic thingy mabobbers, we use these little bowl covers so we can just put it over the top of this guy. Do this. Ta da! made it to the parking lot of the event but we're not really sure exactly where it's at and I'm also not sure if we're really gonna vlog in there because I don't like subjecting like people I don't know to being in a video if they don't want to and also vlogging in public is a little bit awkward as I'm sure you can imagine so I'll definitely get clips of some of the food for you but no promises on if we'll actually vlog in there we also were walking away from the car gonna go put some uh, money in this like little parking situation they have but while Shelby was talking, I also just noticed that we forgot the mashed potatoes. Oh, they're in the car? <laughs> so we're gonna have to it's go okay. back and it's get those. Anyway. <laughs> 22, that's us. It's like the tiniest hole ever, y'all. You see this? <gasps> Good job, babe. It's not in all the way. Uh oh. Oh, damn. Oh, I think it's in there now. They couldn't get it out anymore. All right. 
Did you just pick up a stick? <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to get the mashed potatoes. It's this way! <laughs> what the fuck? Bailey is so confused. <laughs> Schlezzy. We just left a little potluck. It wasn't too busy, but everything we tried was very good. Any any addition there? I really love. Someone made some green beans with like some gravy in them, and then also like a fake ham. Oh, it was delicious. But I totally just went and tried everything because <laughs> I was like, so many people took the time to make so many awesome dishes, and I was not disappointed by anything that I ate. So very impressed. Very impressed. And. We got to be social, we got to meet a few new folks, and that was also really awesome for me. But now, of course, since we were hanging out with Bailey and Greg, they've convinced us to come to their house later to play games, which we should, because last time we were at their house, I don't think we told you this, oh, because we did end up making a vlog. We did vlog when we were there, but we didn't like finish the vlog. We just did the Q&A last week, remember? But while we were playing games last week, I accidentally, apparently, convinced Greg to buy a hundred dollars worth of Jackbox games on his uh, PlayStation and Bailey has been trying to make me feel bad about it so and I kind of do so we just need to go play games with them more often to make it worth the fact that he spent a hundred dollars on those games but we have a couple things to do at the house first we actually recently learned that apparently the San Antonio food bank uh, doesn't have enough food to feed everyone this Thanksgiving and so we're gonna go clean out our pantry go donate some of that and then maybe donate some money as well to help them out. Then we'll head over to play games. Oh, you make cookies? Bailey's really upset that you won't go to game night. Apparently she really likes you. I mean, I'm a likable person. Mm. Hence why you want me to live in San Antonio instead of Fort Worth. That is not why. If you guys want an update on Brittany's weird life situation, because I know you guys are always asking, why doesn't Brittany live with her husband? Who is Cameron? We don't even know who the fuck this guy is and all that kind of stuff. Cameron, who's in the vlogs a lot, is Brittany's husband. They live apart because they got into two different schools. Um, it's really particular. Like, there's only a few schools in Texas, and you don't even really get to pick one. You just go to whoever accepts you, basically. And he's in Dallas, she's in San Antonio, but that is about to come to an end. Um, do you want to tell them what's just like a short synopsis? They brought me in for an interview and then shortly after offered me a job in a field that I've literally wanted to go in my entire life. And Cameron had interviewed a couple days before me at a radiology group um, in Fort Worth. Mine was in San Antonio. And he got a job after me, like he was um, offered the job after me. Uh, and ultimately after doing a lot of pros and cons, we decided to go with Fort Worth. So I had to give up my uh, women's health job. But that's okay, we'll find a better fit in Fort Worth. Yes. I was advocating for them to be in San Antonio because I just think it makes sense because if Madison and I end up in Austin, you were not San Antonio very is clear closer. About that. Yeah, I didn't want to feel like I was being biased. I wasn't trying to like convince anyone because it's for my own personal reasons. Like I don't want you guys to give up your career and it be of any influence to me. But I guess they've chosen Fort Worth, so. Whatever. Shelby started screaming at me when we were trying to Dude, decide. Dude, Brittany keeps and saying I, I was so screaming at her. She, she made me cry. I literally did not scream, but she is, keeps saying I did. I had no attitude. I had no awareness that I had any kind of attitude. Her eyebrows got crazy. She keeps saying that too. I think she just thinks that because you can see my eyebrows and you can't even see her eyebrows. <laughs> Look. No right eyebrows. Here. They're not They're there. right there. They don't even exist. Anyway, like I said, we're gonna go through the pantry so that we can take um, some stuff to donate and then we're gonna go back over to Bailey and Greg's, I guess, without Brittany later. What? Quit picking on him. Babe, he does not look happy. Work or what? Let's turn it out. To the left. Take it back. I can't believe he's not saying anything. Oh. Don't get cutie. 
He's done dancing. Go change. Comfy clothes are officially on, as you can see. I got this little outfit going. Shelby's got that going back there. And now we're gonna actually go to the pantry behind us so that we can see what we got in here that might be good Thanksgiving goodies. I don't think there's a lot of stuff in here that we can donate, but we can donate money to them as well at H-E-B. No spices. Hi, baby. Jars. Oh my god. Well, three. I like it for the first like one. It's like a fucking yeah. $5 bite of pickle right here. This pickle's pretty legit. <laughs> I like it. It's like hot, but not too hot. Right? Like it has a flavor still. Yeah. It's weak enough for you. I, I feel like weak enough for you. Yeah, these are good. Mm -hmm. hey, I told you it's so hard to find a spicy pickle. This is really good. It is very good. And then there's like, um, I don't eat the hummer. But there's onion in there and then like chunks of garlic Ooh. and then it's like pickled because it's sitting in here right it's so, <laughs> so good. highly Ooh. suggest eating some these of those are legit too. i would eat those they're very good but they're not you would think they'd be hotter with habaneros <laughs> i know exactly so that's why like the first time we got it i was like kind of nervous but they ain't too bad yeah. his decisions were made I Ooh, sit there and all those. Ooh, for real with wendy 25 Damn, you gotta close that like, honey browser. But it's also like, why the fuck is it 32 off? Wait, we got the pizza, guys. I'll buy it, yeah. Yeah. Not you bought the games, I'm gonna <laughs> buy the pizza. Yeah, you Five bought the hundred dollar games. <laughs> it's the least we could do. How did you say $10? This is how you I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We just made it back from Bailey and Greg's. I'm asleep. <laughs> I was like, what does she do with her head up like that? Um, but yeah, we just made it back and we're super wiped. We got home and it's like 1 a.m. So it's definitely time to take a nap. But we had an incredible time, like always, hanging out with them and their friend Andrew was a bonus. But we're gonna end the vlog here, guys. We are super wiped. So until next week, we will catch you later, Madelvies. Good night.